I'm Lindsay. And I'm Chansey. You're Chansey? I'm Chansey. <laughs> Round this three. Chani, Round and three. And we are Chansey. So you put it together. Right. Okay. Yes. Anyways, happy early Halloween. And Yay. today, what are we making, Chani? We, <laughs> we are making chocolate bowls. Chocolate to put. bowls. Wait, and they're Halloween themed chocolate bowls. So we're gonna do um, Frankenstein te uh, monster, because it's not and Frankenstein, Frankenstein monster. We're gonna do a ghost. We're gonna do a jack-o'-lantern. Jack and we're going to attempt to do a spider. Maybe. Um, I don't know. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We, we found this on Pinterest, and we're gonna we're gonna try and make our own little oomph to it. We're gonna put our own little sparkle in it. Right. And we'll also in. Um, future videos show you how to do some of the yummy snacks we're going to put into them. It's really good and it's actually going to be fairly healthy and you can substitute like you know melted uh, however they do that yogurt covered pretzels and stuff like that you can substitute that if you want. I don't know how they make it but you can try that if you want a healthier snack too. You can always fill it with like raisins and stuff if you wanted to do like you know monster brains you know. Oh, oh or gummy <laughs> worms. Or gummy <laughs> worms yes. Uh, okay. All right. So, hey. um, you will need some candy melts in orange, green, black, and white. I'm using almond bark instead because I stockpile this stuff for cake balls. Um, but you can also use just plain white candy melts, that's fine. You also need mini marshmallows, uh, some black licorice, we've got some black fizzlers. You're going to need a squeeze bottle that you can put some of your black in for decorations. They're like 50 cents in the cake aisle. They're <laughs> super cheap. Uh, you're going to need some balloons. Uh, you can use kind of whatever size balloons you want to make whatever size uh, bowls that you want. That's going to be okay. You need parchment paper. You need parchment paper. You're also going to need a cookie sheet. I'm using a um, sheet cake pan, but a uh, cookie sheet is just fine. You need some microwave safe bowls. And let's see, well you don't really need the, uh, the poison, the iodine. You don't need bat wings. Either. Or bat wings. Nice. Or Next snake stress. oil. Or snake uh, oil. We, but we are, it's good for the skin. Yes, we are using a doing a recipe with that later, so be sure to stay tuned. So, what you want to do is first you want to line your pan with some parchment paper. Um, you can also use wax paper. People like that, but or paper, huh? Paper? No. You can't use now you, you want something that's gonna that's gonna keep your chocolate from bleeding through. Fine. So, line your parchment, and then. And then you want to blow up your balloons. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> I don't like that one anymore. too big so that it won't fit in your bowl with your chocolate so all right so, so we got our balloon dip, dip. Oh, yeah. what you want to do is once your chocolate's melted you want to take a little bit and you want to make a little circle on your parchment I to put it on there to cover because once you set your balloon on there you're gonna want a base and so this will give you a little bit of a base so okay. dip now now you can dip okay so dip your balloon Judge me. And then I just put it on here. Put it on the little circle that we made. I think I put my circles too close together. That's okay. Meh. All right. And Not it should, it. once it's all said and done, it should stand up. Okay. You want to <laughs> try that? I got this. I okay. got this. Like that. Okay, yours might be better than mine, but you know what? If your balloons yeah. are pointy like ours, you might need to hold them in place. You might need to hold them in place, but it's, it's okay. okay. So that is for the jack-o'-lantern one. Okay, let's do green. We're gonna do Frankenstein one, if I can get around these fake freaking nails. All right, okay. I don't know how this one's working out. I think 
Oh no, this one was a good idea. I think her balloon's a little too big. Her balloon might be a little bit too big, guys. Oh, it's almost too big. We can try it. We'll see. We'll see how that one goes. It's I don't know. These people are getting these perfectly shaped balloons for everything. Oh, and then on the spider ones, what we did was we took the black licorice. We'll show you a close up. But I just took scissors to it, like on the ends, cut off the ends, and just cut them into four separate little legs. Got little spider legs. And then whenever you do your dollop of chocolate on the parchment paper, you can just stick these legs in there. Or I'm sure there's another way we can figure out how to do it as well. But I mean, it works, it works. You know what, don't knock it in until you try it. So it, we're gonna try them. All right, so I'm gonna get my black. Okay, put a dollop on there. It's a dollar for Daisy. Spread your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Spread your legs, Mr. Spider. You know, we will make this work, okay? Pinterest be damned. We will make this work. And it's not even like a Pinterest fail because they're still pretty no. good. Because you're telling me that everybody on Pinterest sees something and they make it and it looks just like the goddamn picture. No. No, it does not. It's almost impossible. Only Martha Stewart can do that. Okay, so once you've got your balloons all dipped and they're kind of sort of holding their own um, a little bit there, you want to go ahead and just pop these bad boys in the refrigerator until your chocolate is completely set up. And hopefully your balloon will kind of start to separate from your bowl. You'll, But otherwise, we will show you how to get the balloon out of there once your chocolate's all set. Yum. All you're gonna do, take something I'm really sharp. scared. And I'm so scared. And pop your balloons. Oh, test you with a knife. No sharp objects, Channy. Does that how you do it? Just stab and twist? <laughs> Is that how you're gonna kill your victims on Halloween? You want to pop the other ones? No. Okay. And then carefully, you're just gonna carefully pull the balloon out from the bowl. Yeah! I feel like I'm at a carnival. The dart. Well, that's a knife that's probably not safe. I'm gonna put that down now. So carefully pull your balloon from the bowl. Look, oh, it's like a spider. Ah! And be, be gentle. You can actually like double and triple dip your bowls if you don't want them to be super thin. No, oh, this is so cool. All right. Okay, so attempt number two. <laughs> you're, you're gonna pop your balloons. Like psycho, like. <laughs> I don't know what happened to play down us. I was like, I don't know what happened. It's like, all sad. Here, try to hook that. Ah, there we go. Puzzle top. Okay, and then very carefully, once again, separate your balloon from your bowl. We're gonna go ahead and make Frankenstein's bolts. This is if you do the green bolts. Yeah, you only need them if you're doing, if you're using the green chocolate to make your your bowls. Um, so what you want to do is you want to melt some black chocolate, and then I have taken some of our mini marshmallows, <laughs> and I've put them, I've skewered them onto toothpicks. I gotta gotta find my angle here. Skewered them onto toothpicks, and all you're really gonna do is you're going to dip, dip them in the chocolate. When I dip, you dip, boy, you dip. But while Trini is taking the balloon and the white one, we also figured out, because we're learning with you while we're doing this, that you need to double dip. As bad as that sounds and cooties involved, you need to double dip. We <laughs> we broke every single one of our orange ones, so we're not going to do jack o lanterns However, we're going to show you our Frankenstein and our spider and our ghost, and you can just kind of play along and pretend we did jack o lantern So, and our, well, our ghost kind of broke But we had one good ghost. This is a little bit trickier than in the pictures. I don't know how they're getting it all perfect and everything, but they're doing something different. And they're not letting us know their secrets. So, We anyways, also learned you have to 
you know, when we first did these, our, our balloons were pointed, remember? So you have to like take the point down on the balloons. So you just have to kind of make sure that if you want to eat your bowls afterwards, that you take the tape out the bottom of your bowls. And then you can sit here and decorate them however you want. So for your ghosts, just a black chocolate and a little squeeze make bottle. Make a cute little ghost. And make, make a cute, cute little cherry. ghost. Hey, look. Ah, oh, it's adorable. For our spiders, they did actually turn out really cute. So, ah. Uh, Spider just, needs white. And then Frankenstein. Are you maybe you seen that movie again? But you have to be gentle. But they are a really good idea. Worth the effort. They are fun. It's just... <laughs> It's time consuming. What spider mouth? Am I giving him a mouth? No! Did spiders have fangs? I feel like I'm melting the bowl. So then you take your, your little bowls here and we'll scoop these back so you can kind of see them. And we'll zoom back in again. Yeah. So we've got some. Go for it. Get out of my cauldron goodie bag. Oh, I know! You're supposed to keep it in there for fact, Chatty! Damn it! Sorry, chocolate dipped pretzels which would be really yummy or the yogurt dipped ones like in our other video you can use our chocolate dipped pretzels yes. to put into the bowls if that's too much chocolate use pretzels or non chocolatey candies but just remember pretzels go good with the chocolate bowl because think chocolate covered pretzels right okay let's give you a close-up so you can actually see how they came out all right so we have little Frankenstein look how cute he is oh, he's so cute with like the little bolts we have our little spider and his little beady eyes and if you look you can see the uh, the licorice and how nicely that came out see his little legs there how cute and then we have our ghost Woo. Woo. Yeah. Woo. you can also turn your white one into a mummy or a skeleton uh, so either one would be very very cute so there you have it chocolate dipped balloons <laughs> chocolate dipped balloons into bowls, but without eating the balloons. Right, don't eat the balloons. Um, but. All right, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe somewhere in this general area. Um, um, I don't know where, it's just always over here somewhere. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash chancy cooking where we will have down there. cutesy little pictures of these. Um, and be sure, it is Halloween season, so if there's anything else Halloween dessert related that you wanted to see us make that you leave us a comment down below It's a marshmallow on a stick <laughs> Leave us a comment down below so we can see what we can do about making it happen and stay tuned because we should still have some jack-o'-lantern cake balls um, Halloween stuff bottles mod pods crafts food. We're gonna do all some that fun stuff some fun crafting stuff So until next time have a good Halloween, I guess. I don't know. Have, Have a very, very Halloween. Uh, sorry. I was going to say a very happy Halloween. Very.